Hey there, if you're looking for a fun and easy way to earn rewards, including cash and prizes, check out the link in the video description. Welcome to TV Unmasked, the channel where we uncover the truth behind the glamorous facade of reality TV. Today, we delve into the shocking allegations between Caroline Manzo and Brandy Glanville. Stay tuned as we peel back the layers and reveal the raw reality behind the headlines. Caroline Manzo has described in graphic detail the sexual assault she allegedly endured at the hands of Brandy Glanville while filming Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip in Morocco. In a signed affidavit filed on May 28 and obtained exclusively by TV Unmasked, the Real Housewives of New Jersey alum claimed the former Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star forcibly fondled her vagina while producers filmed the alleged assault. When Glanville was sexually assaulting me on the sofa, she was rubbing her vagina on me. The producers just watched and kept filming, Manzo 62, writes in the affidavit. They saw that I was in distress and yet they continued to film. The Bravolberti alleges that production didn't separate Glanville 51 from her and instead continued to feed Glanville with alcohol and allowed her to follow Manzo into the bathroom where she threw her against the bathroom door, causing her to hit her head. Glanville then locked me in the bathroom where she forcibly fondled my vagina against my will, with Manzo further alleging that producers did not help, despite witnessing Manzo's escape attempt. Glanville maliciously sexually assaulted me for her own sexual gratification, Manzo writes in the legal document. She did this by forcibly kissing me, rubbing her vagina on me, and then fondling my vagina against my will. Manzo claims she requested production not ask her about the alleged assault during her pickup, interviews back in New York City, because she was visibly suffering from anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress from Glanville, sexually assaulting me. The brownstone owner, however, claims production forced her to relive the sexual assaults to create more drama in the interview for their own ratings and profit. By clicking above, you agree to the terms of use and privacy policy. Bravo and Peacock had no comment, while reps for Glanville and Shed Media didn't immediately return TV Unmasked's requests for comment. Manzo filed her bombshell lawsuit against Bravo and Peacock in January, claiming Glanville forced herself on her and kissed her without consent. The lawsuit further alleged that the incident resurfaced Manzo's dormant and horrific memories of her sexual assault that took place when she was seven years old. Glanville responded to Manzo's lawsuit by calling her allegations absurd. Sadly, Brandy had to wake up to yet another lawsuit that includes defamatory, false accusations about her, a rep for Glanville told TV Unmasked at the time. While filming, Brandy followed what the producers asked of her, and there was no sexual assault. She is innocent of these absurd accusations that have weighed on her mental and physical health for far too long without a word of support from Peacock, Shed, or Bravo. This painful storytelling seems endless and needs to stop. She is looking to move on and upward and get her life back. An executive producer of Root claimed in court documents filed in April that Manzo felt disrespected by the OnlyFans star but wasn't sexually violated by her. Our primary concern at that point was making sure that Manzo felt safe. Read the documents. She told us that she felt safe that she wanted to continue to film, and that she did not want Glanville to be sent home. Manzo ultimately flew home from Morocco early. If you have been sexually assaulted and live in New York, you can call 1-800-942-6906 for free and confidential crisis counseling. If you live outside the state, you can dial the 24-7 National Sexual Assault Hotline at 1-800-656-4673.